Hello, um, I'd just like to say a big thank you uh, before I start to everyone that's subscribed to me so far. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you keep enjoying the videos that I put out. Uh, this one might be a little bit long winded. Uh, and also I'm going to say a big thank you to VK for uh, giving me a shout out on his channel. Um, so yeah, that was a huge help. Uh, to get this channel up and running better than I could have done anyway. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Von Ketteringham. So if, if uh, you haven't subscribed to him already, I suggest you go and take a look. He's got some really cool stuff, but I think most of you have come from him anyway. So thank you very much. So without further ado, um, what I do first of all is I undercoat the entire model with bleach bone. And then I pick out all the black areas. Just using Vallejo Black. Any black will do, have it on black from workshop or whatever black you've got. Uh, and then I paint the backpacks, the musket and the water bottle. I paint all of that with flat earth. There you go, flat earth. Uh, as you can see at this stage, I'm not worrying about neatness. I just paint all over the straps. It's fine. Got a few splodges here and there. But don't worry about it. It's fine. So the next thing I do is I paint the flesh on. Flesh tones. I thought I use shadow flesh. So, uh, and then I will paint uh, the blanket roll on the back there. It's a great coat, whatever it is. Uh, and for that I use oh, that one. Use London Grey. But they are London Grey. Oh, and then also paint that little. Thing you can see in this light. I'll paint that bit green. And for that, I use Olive Grey. Make sure we focus tonight. So, next one. The very next stage. Paint the pink on. Oh, yep, that's right, paint a pink up. That's how I use pink, strangely enough. These are the 11th Regiment, which is why they've got pink facings and stuff. And then I paint all the grey, all the webbing, all the way around. Again, you see, I'm not too neat at this stage. You don't have to be really. And for all that, I use sky grey. The reason I reuse two different bases for the white is so it gives you a nice warm white for the uniform and a cold white for all the webbing and stuff so you get a feel that it's two different materials when you paint all the white up together and then finally see I put the metal work on and that little bit there using yellow ochre for the musket I use all paints gunmetal and for the brass and stuff I use old gold just to give you an idea and after you've done all that you've got them all base coated you want to ink them and you want to slap this all over don't be shy with that use it straight and neat out of the bottle just pile it on and for that I use Strong tone. And then once that's dry, you have to leave it quite a while. I start painting the flesh up. So again, I go back over with shadows flesh on the faces and the hands. Um, and then, as you can see on the pom pom, I painted that as well. So I use olive grey again. And then to highlight it, good old goblin green. And then I'll paint the circle yellow ochre again. Now, don't worry about getting it in the middle because you're going to blob some black paint on there afterwards. See, it's fine. So yeah, it's just getting the shadows flesh on. And then the next highlight of the flesh, which is, if I can find it, there we are. Flesh base. So to 
I want to show you. Oh, I'll paint the moustache brown as well. You can see that. Um, I just want to show you kind of where I aim to get the paint on this. And that's that one. Let me put the highlight of the flesh on. Again, I just want to kind of just show you where I aim to get the highlights. I've made a bit of a mess of his hand, but that's fine. Just tiny little bits. Cheekbones, nose, chin, that kind of thing. And for that I use highlight splash. Oh, I've actually missed out stage here. Um, yeah. So that's all the flesh done. And there you go. And I paint the pink in now. Oh, I've just painted his moustache up so you can see. So moustache, flesh, um, flat earth again, dot a bit of black in, in that centre there, like I said, uh, and for the highlight of the moustache, I used orange brown. Right, the stage I've missed out, I forgot to tell you, is as soon as I've got past the inking stage, before I start any of the flesh highlights, I dry brush all the black. See, like I use cap make and just see the highlight around the edge and on the top, not the ammo pouches. So, the first dry brush I use is dark grey, and then I do a second dry brush using London grey, which I've already shown you. Um, so, yeah, do that before you do any of the flesh or anything like that. That's the first thing you do once you use dry. So once you've got all the face and the hat and everything done and dusted and out of the way, you're on to the main colour. Uh, so what I do with this is I go back pretty much over all the areas again. Uh, and I use bleach bone. A bone, in fact, from war paints, but you can use any bone, a shabti bone or um, Iraqi sand would be good. I haven't got that. Uh, and you're just basically covering everything pretty much, leaving a few lines in, so you've got all your black lines and just cover all that inked bleach bone up. Then your next stage is go over it all again, but this time you use a 50-50 mix of your bone and off-white. Vallejo off-white. I never use pure white, I always use off-white. So you do a 50-50 mix of that, pretty much covering everything you've already covered. Turn them out because it won't focus with them in. And that gives you that tone. Then your final one on the white. Pretty much going over everything again, leaving the tiny bits of the 50-50 uh, mix. So you've got a bit of shade in there. The thing with this off-white is you don't want too much of a contrast between the shades. It just looks odd. Um, and I, I don't want it too clean either because I kind of want them to look like they've seen a bit of action. And for that, just use pure off-white. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit brighter, you could use a pure white and go over it again. Uh, again, just leaving bits of the off-white showing through, but I quite like them, this mucky colour. And then at this point also, because I'm going to be painting off-white, I've gone back over all the pout, uh, straps and stuff. I've gone back over all of them with sky grey. So your last one is I painted all the sky grey with white, with that off-white. So you can see it gives you a nice kind of different tone to the cream white. So you've got two completely different tones on there. Um, and then at this stage I will do the metal. So for the musket barrels and bayonet, I don't use the gun metal this time, I use your silver just to get them nice and bright and then use the old gold to do the gold bit and then what that should leave you with is some guys that look something like this there you go so that's how your unit starts to come together 
I've run out of bases, so I can't actually finish anything at the minute. But I'm at York on Sunday at Vatna Track, so I'll pick up some more bases there. Um, with the horse, uh, I painted all the uh, the black on there first. I dry brushed that up at the same time as I did all the other dry brushing, so I didn't have to go over and re-highlight all that black. I just dry brushed it straight up, just to save time. Uh, so that's that, and that's how I paint my Austrians. Um, I will do a final reveal when I get the bases on Sunday. So I'm going to crack on, get these finished. Uh, I hope that was helpful to some of you. Um, brilliant. Thanks. Bye for now.